Unit 2. Types of Necklines In women's fashion there are a lot of different types of neckline, each seeking to create a specific effect for the person wearing the dress, whether it's to increase the size of the bosom, to display varying amounts of cleavage or simply to achieve a greater degree of comfort. In this guide we explore some of the more commonly used necklines and consider the merits of each. The plunging neckline, this is a reasonably common neckline that is found on both tops and dresses, as the name suggests it consists of a low-cut area at the front which allows for varying amount of cleavage to be displayed. When describing a plunging we prefer to add a little more detail and would normally describe the shape as having either a V, A square or a U cut. The scoop neckline, scoop necks are very similar to a U cut plunging neckline, however, they usually have a much deeper cut and are not uncommonly found on things like t-shirts, with a recent trend making them very popular especially in men's fashion. A scoop neck tends to allow for more cleavage than a U-cut plunging neckline would, but as you will appreciate where we draw the distinction between the two can be a bit blurry. As in the example shown opposite from our store you'll notice that unlike in the plunging neckline example a lot more cleavage gets displayed. Scoop necklines are ideal for a slightly more flirtatious outfit and are often seen in dresses aimed at the club wear market. The boat neckline, a boat neck is a much wider neckline that is usually cut into a shallow U-shape which often passes the collar bones and hangs on the shoulders. It creates an elegant look and is often seen in cocktail and evening dresses. A very modest neckline that is ideal for those situations where you want to show a bit of flesh but where it is probably less appropriate to display large amounts of cleavage. It is rarely seen in less formal attire. The off-the-shoulder neckline, often referred to a strapless neckline these necklines are similar to the boat neckline except they hang entirely off the shoulder. They normally hang over the arms below where the shoulder ends, however, when referred to as a strapless neckline this would normally imply the neckline passes under the arms. This is an ideal neckline for to accentuate the shoulders and neck of the wearing and often lends to a very elegant look. The keyhole neckline, a keyhole neckline can have two different meanings traditionally and perhaps more technically, it should refer to a neckline that is similar to a halter neck but instead of the strap of fabric going directly around the next it crosses over at the front before then looping around with the effect being a small gap is created resembling a keyhole. This style of neckline has become increasingly uncommon. Usually when we refer to a garment as having a keyhole effect we are simply making reference to the fact that it has a small hole usually just below the collarbone mimicking the effect created by the traditional keyhole neckline. These necklines allow for a very modest about of cleavage to be displayed but more than anything they simply add a little more detail to the garment. The one shoulder neckline, this is another neckline that lends itself perfectly for a more formal look. Unlike most necklines the one shoulder neck isn't symmetrical and it is this asymmetry that can give a dress a really striking style. It's a good neckline to allow for a modest amount of flesh to be displayed and especially draws attention to the wearer's neck and uncovered shoulder due to its asymmetrical nature. The halter neckline, the halter neck is a style of neckline that features a strap of fabric running around the neck to hold the garment up. They come in varying styles but the main aim for the halter neck is to leave the wearer's back uncovered. They are generally considered to be more provocative than other styles because of the amount of flesh they allow to be displayed. Halter neck are ideal for less formal settings for when you want to retain your modesty yet because they leave much of the middle and upper back and your shoulder blades exposed they can still make for a tastefully flirtatious look. The sweetheart neckline, the sweetheart neckline is all about accentuating the bosom, it usually formed from two downwardly concaved pieces of fabric which end up resembling a heart shape. The neckline usually stops near the top of the bosom and this is why they are so effective at really drawing attention to that part of the body, without the need to display vast amounts of cleavage. It is not uncommon for a sweetheart neckline to be combined with the halter neck which leads to a slightly more risque, yet elegant look. Allowing the wearing to make the most of their neck, back, shoulders and bosom. The surplus neckline a surplus neckline is when two pieces of fabric overlap to form the neckline in a similar way to show a bathrobe looks when it is done up. This creates a very flowing effect and is equally as well suited to both formal and casual settings.